today I'm painting the last piece of the zombie side green horde. It's the trebuchet. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So like I said, this is the last piece in the green horde from zombie side. It's the trebuchet. And I start off by priming this with fur brown from the army painter. And now I use, I'm going to do some dry brushing and layers here, and I'm going to be using some monster brown to give it a little bit more of a dirty, woody look. And we're going to move on to a, another color, which is basilisk brown. And this will bring out like the highlights of the trebuchet, so like the higher points. So I'm trying to just get a little bit here and there to make it look like it's been sitting out there in a long time in a battlefield. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite models to paint so far. <laughs> it's too bad it's the last one in this series. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Castle Grey on all the rocks inside the uh, mechanism for launching this trebuchet. Actually no, this is what gets launched from the trebuchet. Uh, I had to break the piece off actually to be able to paint this because it's inside the trebuchet normally. And I super glue it after and it comes out really nice. So guys, I'm glad you guys have been through this with me. It's been uh, amazing fun. I'll be moving on to some other projects real soon. And uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, now we're gonna be using some mummy robes for the ropes and all the ropes on the trebuchet. And later on when I put the wash on, this gives it a really nice grungy, dirty, look to this, uh, the, the, all the rope mechanisms on this. Again, as you can see here, I had to break off this piece to be able to paint this area. And I'll come back and paint all the ropes around the rocks after while this dries. If you guys would like to vote on my next project, come join me in my Discord. The link is in the comments, or sorry, in the description. And you can join that. And uh, there, like I said, you can vote on my next project, which is gonna include Alter Quest. Uh, it's gonna include uh, Massive Darkness, uh, Cthulhu Death May Die, Project Elite, uh, Load, and many others. So please come and join the Discord channel. Like I said, it's in the description. Uh, it's free to join and it's fun. You can discuss video games, board games, miniatures, whatever you want. You can share your art in there and show me what you've painted. Alright, now we're going to be using a metallics color from the Army Painter, and this is um, Gun Metal, uh, because this one's not as shiny as like Plate Metal Metal, so I found that this would be good for the bolts and all those things, so it's uh, just going around making sure I get every one of them. Uh, there was a lot, and you know, it's, it's actually very nitty gritty doing these little dots and making sure you don't get a whole bunch of paint everywhere else.
All right, now I'm going to be using some deep shader from the Zombicide Black Plague paint set. This is also from Army Painter, uh, but you can also use Strong Tone, which is a heavy pigmented brown quick shade wash. And this is going to go on the entire uh, trebuchet. And as you can see already, that rope looks even better with this color on it. Uh, it gives it some nice highlights at the same time. And you're going to see it gets into the recesses of all the wood, giving it this real listic looking trebuchet. Alright, so the trebuchet is all painted up and ready to hit the table and hit those orcs with some nice rocks. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.